So as an epilepsy surgeon, what did you feel when you saw that video and what what are your initial thoughts that came to your mind? The Just... epilepsy in India carries a stigma, mm -hmm. as you very well know. Mm -hmm. And both of you alluded to it, true. that uh, they don't want to tell their neighbors, relatives true, true, and all that. True. So we have had uh, at least uh, 15, 20 patients who are getting more than 100 seizures per day, who have this severe disorder which thoroughly ruins a child's mm -hmm. life. And they don't and, die. And uh, next 20, 30 years, they're just going the same way. They don't die. Yeah. Well, uh, oh. they could have sudden death. Yeah, that I can but, have. That's true. Sorry. But yeah. if they are carrying on, it's miserable. Yes, it's miserable. Absolutely miserable. Absolutely. The caregiver burden, yeah. the child's brain, personality, mind, everything starts developing in the first two years of life and then carries on into teenage absolutely, and adulthood. Absolutely, absolutely. So all that gets interrupted. Agreed, agreed. So, so. it's a massive problem for, uh, and we call this uh, kind of epilepsy, catastrophic epilepsy. Oh, it's yeah. a catastrophic. catastrophic in all, epilepsy. in more ways than one, I think. Yeah. More Correct. ways than one. Yes. And when so. we see those children, actually it's uh, very bad. Sometimes you are moved to tears. And as professionals, we have to retain our poise. Otherwise, you can't treat the next, the next patient if you get disturbed too much by one such episode. So, when we see this and we see the difference after doing the appropriate surgery, what happens is the normal part of the brain and the mind starts developing. So, the later you do the surgery, for example, it starts in the first year of life and you do surgery at 10th year of life. Mm -hmm. The child has lost 10 years. 10 years, so valuable time. Correct.